It's Saturday and we're door dashing, but first. Hello, good morning. Saturday morning in the kitchen. Got a pot of coffee going. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda miss that sound. That percolating, bubbling sound. Like memories when I was a kid, early mornings with my dad. Crazy how sounds and smells can do that, you know? Uh, over here, cranking out the last of the couple of uh, bagels and Tiff's got this like raisin, cinnamon raisin bread, Dave's, Dave's bread. Really freaking good, but she doesn't like the butts. Breakfast, coffee, and magic. <clears throat> Ta-da. Bryce is home. First time in a week. Mm -hmm. I like living that bachelor's life. His own pad. Just making a little white, egg white omelet. Yeah, I'm probably making like 16 to 19 dollars an hour. I'm probably in that range. Like after after tips. And now you're caught up on my morning. So yeah, Tiff and I are both out dashing, uh, working today. I'm just doing DoorDash. She does her Instacart, but she does her all her her normal things. Um, and uh, we're gonna probably do this the next couple of weeks in hopes to plan multiple things. More on that later. Uh, I hate, I've learned to just keep my mouth shut and not like talk about things until they're 100% for sure happening. I get too excited and worked up and then I share that with you. And then for the next two months, I'm like, when are you doing this? I thought you said you're doing this. Aren't you doing this? Are you not doing this anymore? And it's like, so, now I just keep my mouth shut until it's 100% happening. But the number one question I get asked right now is, what are you doing for the summer? Are you doing any summer trips or vacations with the kids? The answer is yes. Where and when are the things that are up in the air? Um, there's essentially four things that I want to do. June's already over, so the, the four is probably going to be two. There's two we talked about this morning. So anyway, more on that later. For now... Uh, we're door dashing, and I just picked up my first dash at Total Wine. Of course, I had a quick stop on the tequila aisle just to see if there's anything new, anything that catches my eye, anything they've restocked on. Not that I need tequila, I don't need tequila. I have plenty of tequila. I'm not drinking my tequila, but it's still fun to look and shop, right? And there we go. So something was different with this with this uh, this pickup. It the option it gave me was is confirm pickup. So I'm like, uh, okay, that sounds weird. I clicked it and it immediately went to like deliver. I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't even purchase it. And come to find out it was already like paid for and like I'm literally just picking it up. So it's something totally different I've never done before. So I brought the camera today uh, just as, you know, to give me myself options. Got my little tripod base, keeping it simple, but still having the additional um, camera while having my phone do DoorDash. I'll use, the do I'll use my camera when I'm out of side of the car. I don't know if I'm gonna take this with me just cause I'm already, I don't know, we'll see, I don't know. I'll play it by ear. But I brought the camera just to be on the safe side and to have more options, more flexibility. Plus I can also listen to music and vlog at the same time. Yee! All right, so uh, we just did that delivery. Took this up to uh, near the Air Force Base. In fact, this I think is a, like, I think when I walked, drove in, the sign said something along the lines of being like a neighborhood for, it's under surveillance. I, I, I missed it, but I think this is like, it's, we're not on base, but we're right across the street from the base, so I think this is just um, housing for for the military. Big houses, big houses, but, but then they're also like connected, so it's like two houses con connected together. Anyway, um, did that delivery, and I'm technically outside of uh, my area, and so it's like, we'll try and get you in order to get you back into your area, and it did. We got a shopping. Um, I think he said thirteen dollars for six miles. Perfect, over two dollars a mile. We'll take it. U.S. Air Force installation. So yeah, so that's what it, exactly what it is. It's just not a. It's not a gated 
the one across the street looks like it's more more gated. Another one of those places where the aisles are barren. There's holes everywhere, like missing items. Nothing stocked. This is what I came for. Gatorade's on sale. And of course, they're out. All the flavors that the customer wants. Even Powerade. Boom. Check out this new remix. This is normally when it goes off, right here. Ah! Oh, I love that! I love that! Woo! It is humid today. I haven't checked the what the actual humidity is, but it is just thick. Kind of feels like Florida. So I ate before I left, which is smart because then I'm not hungry while I'm smelling all this food. But I am thinking about it. I'm like, I just picked up Chipotle. That sounds awesome. I got Chick Fil A now. That sounds awesome. I know there's a, a, an awesome pokey place right over here. That sounds awesome. Right now I'm kind of thinking about Dutch Bros. I have a free drink, so I'm like, is it too soon though? It's only two o'clock. I got. I schedule myself till five, so well, right now we're rocking and rolling. Feeling great. Yeah, Dutch Bros line is super long. I'm not gonna wait for this. It sucks. Red Bull it is. You know what? I opted for Jamba Juice. We're waiting for a Chick-fil-A order anyway, so Jamba Juice it is. That timing worked out perfect, getting that Jamba Juice. As soon as I walked in, Chipotle, they were, Chipotle. As soon as I walked into Chipotle, they were already ready, so in and out, in and out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The funny thing is everyone's out working right now. Bryce and Sierra are actually out uh, Instacarting and door dashing as well. <clears throat> Sierra's just doing the same thing because it's summertime and it's slow, right? The, their job's slow and so um, her and Jacob started doing it, her and Reagan started doing it, where they'll like go together and they'll just, they'll just go together and, and dash and Instacart together. So Bryce is tagging along today. She said she split. She buy him lunch if she if he hung out with her today. And he's like, yeah, sure. Like they like hanging out, right? They like hanging out with each other. Um, brother and sister, like they're like best friends. We're very very fortunate that the two of them are like this. Just listening to Prodigy all day. One of my favorite bands of all time, and they're done. They're gone. This guy died. One of the guys died, so it's over. Deliver into a hospital and it said enter through the emergency room exit on the right side of the right side of the building. I parked on the right side of the building is the ambulance entrance. I can't get one there, so walk around to the front of the building on the right side. Oh, it's starting to record, but I got a new order. Hold on. Three minutes away to Arby's, two pickups at Arby's. It's convenient. So I, I got kind of far away from my zone, started kind of creeping into another zone. And what is this guy doing? What the? Why are you going 20 miles an hour, bro? Holy crap. You okay? Oh, he had to get over. What the? Jeez. Oh, anyway, um, I got kind of pulled away kind of far, right? And I was kind of figuring out where my bear, you know, where I'm at, where I'm going. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go this way, and then I'll turn my dash back on. So basically what I do is I pause my dash when I'm in an area that I don't wanna pick up more orders in, because what'll happen is you get, continue to get pulled away from your home zone. So I'm still in the zone, but now I'm getting on the fringes. I'm, now I'm getting on, you know, on the on the outskirts. And I, I'll even deliver outside of my zone, which then it'll say, we're trying to find your orders to get you back into your zone, but please proceed back to your zone. And then you're just wasting time. So anyway, I'm driving down uh, Indian school here, and that's where that Dutch Bros was that I was at earlier. And I don't know why, it just clicked. Just just that at the moment, I was like, wait a minute, I can order a head now. I can order a head, drive over to the Dutch Bros, and by the time I get there, it'll be ready for me, waiting for me. And then I remembered I have a free drink. So, boom! I ordered a head, I got a free drink, so I'm getting my Dutch Bros iced Blue Rebel. And I'm very happy about it. And my phone is blowing up because someone is going through literally every single one of my thread posts and liking them. Every single one. 
I've been on threads now since it launched. I post somewhat regularly. They're literally going through and liking every single post. It's like ding, 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 ding. I just saw Merry Christmas. They just liked my Christmas post. Got in, uh, got in line and standing in front of me was a, uh, a female police officer and she was just placing her order and uh, they mustn't, she must be a regular because um, one of the, one of the uh, people that worked there kind of reached out and gave her a hug and then she ordered and the next guy came over and said, you know, what can I get for you? I said, I have an order, uh, we'll pick up order for Clint. She already had it, good to go. That was awesome, right? And then I said, would you mind, can I, can I buy you your drink? And she kind of was like, oh, oh, no. And then the other goes, we already got it. Don't worry, we'll take care of her. She's going to pay anyways. And she was kind of like, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you anyway. Like, she didn't know what to say because, like, I wanted to buy her a drink. But then they were like, we're going to buy it for her. So they were going to charge her anyway. So, I don't know. I tried. It's rare that I get those moments to do something like that. Mmm. OG gummy bear. Delicious. I try to limit my sugary drinks to one one a day, and uh, and then I don't always do dessert. But Tiffany's been buying some ice cream that's just been amazing, like ice cream bars. And I'm like, at least it's an ice cream bar because then I just eat one. If it's like a pint of ice cream or if it's a half gallon of ice cream, that's where I get in trouble because then I just start scooping and scooping. It. I'm like, that's a good amount, and I'm like, I have no idea how much what portion that was. It's probably like three portions, three servings, whatever. But at least if it's an ice cream bar, it's unlimited to one. All right, we're heading over to Safeway <clears throat> to buy some beer or some wine or something. It says one item in the liquor department and it tells me that I have to scan ID so be prepared to scan ID for someone who's 21 so off to the beer and spirits department all right Tiffany just gave me a call said that she's doing her last uh, delivery and then she's done uh, the kids are doing their last delivery and they're done so I said well, look at that coincidence I am heading in the direction of home which is further than I wanted to go but I guess it all worked out so I just ended my dash with uh, my last delivery uh, which says Start time, 11.55 a.m. It is now 4.27 p.m. Active time, three hours, 47 minutes. Deliveries completed, 11. Dash total, $86.50. So, yeah. Less than four hours, $86.50. Not bad. Not bad. I was the first one out the door. I'm the first one back home. Worked out perfect for me. So, now we just kind of chill and wait. Uh, when Tiffany gets back, we're gonna run up to the grocery store and grab stuff for dinner, and I'm gonna make some smash burgers. Been a while since I've used this setup. Figured I'm gonna water my plants. Might as well turn on. Uh, the microphone really is what, what prompted it. I haven't used the microphone in months because I haven't been hiking. I'm really doing anything at distance. But I was thinking I'm gonna do the, um, the Blackstone to do the burgers and that's, you know, grilling, being hands-free, kind of giving you guys like a, a wide shot. Really muggy, cloud cover all day. You know, I haven't looked at the forecast, hoping for rain, but I doubt it. I won't get my hopes up. But yeah, it's real, real humid for Arizona. You know, you hear all the time how Arizona, Phoenix is a dry heat, right? It's a dry heat. It's true, it is. So when we get days like even moderate humidity, we're like, oh my God. Whereas people like in you know the South are all used to it. Just like we're used to 110. Yeah, 110 degrees. Psh. Yesterday was 117. Ain't no thing. So I've been slowly trying to um, get the, you know, figure out the watering system because I killed all the plants last year. I didn't wasn't watering enough, clearly. And I know last year was like record heat, record high, you know, highs, but still, I've got a freaking you know automatic drip system. I just have to figure out the how much water how often at this point I think it's every day I went from 10 to 15 now I'm at 20 minutes at like 80 percent on the water I probably should google it and figure out what is recommended I don't remember what the guy had it set to I turned it down during the winter because I was realizing that in the winter time this thing was just constantly wet and moist and I was like I'm going to overwater my plants so I turned it down but I didn't pay attention to what um what it was set at. So last year I obviously messed it up and my plant, all my plants died, pretty much everything, except for the, the thickest ones, the thick boys, everything else died. Minus like three lilies. I think we had three lilies that survived. I'm trying to do better. 
So I have the bubblers on, but I'm also just doing manual hose downs like this just to keep the humidity up on these bad boys because they're just, they're just all brown. They're all brown, man. They don't look healthy. Aloha. You think I can make it in there? All right, what buns are going with? Can you sesame seed? Yeah, Pepper's fried, we remember. All right, Blackstone is lit, heated up. We're gonna... We're gonna use red onions this time. Kind of change it up a little bit. And we're gonna use our garlic and herb infused butter. I've been, I had this pack I've been using off and on for a couple weeks now. And so, need to use it up. I'll save the roasted red pepper for another day. We got some smack burgers tonight, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you need to do a little, little mustard swirl on that. So when we flip it, it's gonna be a nice crust, delicious, perfect, and just the right amount of mustard. Two years with, two years without. What about onions? Onions. Onions on all of them. The two with no cheese and no onions. That is how you do some smash burgers, baby. Mm. We still got four more turkey burgers for Tiffany. Turkey burgers. <laughs> Can you hear that sizzle? I don't know if you can hear it because I have the lapel on. The sizzle is amazing. Oh. I doubled up some of the bur uh, burger patties to make room for the turkey. The wife wants turkey burgers, she gets turkey burgers. I'll make them exactly the same as if they were beef. So. As close as the real thing. You know what I'm saying? So freaking excited. The smash burgers like look perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful burgers. Doubles. I got two double doubles. Two double doubles with grilled onions, lettuce, pickles, and one has extra mustard. 